Hey everyone, welcome to part three of my experimental um, technique uh, modeled after Bette Ridgway's work. I think that this is going to be the only painting that I do with this particular technique and after I'm done this I'm going to be going back to my spin painting uh, just because it's kind of causing me a little bit of anguish and um, it's not really as much fun for me as uh, this spin painting. So I'm going to finish this out and just call it a day after I'm done this one. But it's been a lot of fun doing it and I've uh, I really enjoyed having uh, you guys uh, give me uh, suggestions. So uh, without further ado, uh, Pamela, you can see that I actually found some teal and I put it in there just for you. And Barb, uh, that uh, red stripe along the right there, that's actually magenta. It's more pink in real life than it is in the painting. I don't know why it's not looking very magenta-y there um and there's a whole bunch of people that uh requested more translucent um splashes of color but you can see with the dried parts uh, it actually dries pretty translucent so um joy and kelly um and precision she asked for more water but anyways so it dries a lot more translucent. Um, Mary actually suggested that I use a hair dryer and I had forgotten that but uh, uh, shows that in her video and it was a fantastic idea so thank you Mary that was actually really fun uh, using the hair dryer. Um, so yeah thanks for reminding me that that is an option. I had a lot of fun uh, moving the paint around with the hair dryer. And you can kind of see there I uh, went for the four sides uh, drip. That was Joanne's suggestion. Um, Lucy wanted more thin lines. I think I managed to get more thin lines on there. And uh, Ruthann actually asked, asked for a more linear design work. And Irene and Mary asked for more gold and I put that in the top uh, left corner there. Um, I think that's about it. Dragon424 Art asked for string lanes, and I thought that was a fabulous idea, and then I promptly forgot to do it. Um, I think that I'm going to have... I p did one more layer uh, after this one right off the bat, and I'm going to post that video probably right away as well. And then I think that I have one more layer to do before I can do my final layer. So I'm hoping to do the string lanes in the last layer before I stretch it. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, uh, this painting is just uh, being a struggle the entire way and you can kind of tell by just looking at it. It's uh, turning into a bit of a mess and I'm really hoping that when it gets to the final uh, layer after I stretch it, um, my little surprise ending will kind of pull everything together. Um, yeah, so I mean, I really don't have much else to say about this layer. I, I spent a long time doing it. It was, uh, I think, Friday night that I did it. And I, this is a very, very compressed uh, video. I cut out chunks and everything. Um, I spent about two hours uh, crouched over the, the canvas and I still wasn't really happy about it uh, in the end and I was back and forth messing around with it all night so definitely uh, you know th that's one of the nice things about the spin painting is uh, it's kind of a quick process it's like probably about 45 minutes and then you're done whereas this one is just like there's so much playing around with it and waiting for the paint to run off um, and I actually kind of feel as though there's way more wasted paint doing this technique. But anyways, it's been a good learning experience to say the least. And, uh, you know, just kind of a nice break from uh, doing the usual spin painting. So I think that's about it. I'm going to give you the close up. Um, it kind of looks weird and bumpy uh, in the close up, but it dries pretty smooth. So I'm hoping to get layer 4 uh, edited and posted tonight as well, so you can kind of see the difference in how it dries. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this particular layer. 
if you did remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed to my channel and I hope that you'll check out layer 4 thanks for watching have a great day bye